Hey, Mick. Hey there. What do you think of the place? Ah, it's incredible. Look at this. <laughs> What's up, man? What's going on? It's been so long. It's been a while, right? Yeah. I very first met Mick before I was in WWE. I met him in early 93, 94, when I first started Super Green in the business. You know, it was Mick Foley who was willing to help a young guy that uh, was just trying to find his way in it. Well, when did you guys start realizing that this was stuff that needed to be archived? Well, we're the caretakers of the business. And of all the stuff we have here, so much we don't. So we're trying to find those things, not because we want to take them away from a collector or something, but if we can take them and then allow the world to enjoy them as opposed to one person with a collection that it just sits in their nightstand. So I'm guessing that if I go out looking for the item myself, it carries a little sentimental value. To carries it. a little more sentimental value. I believe that if somebody is a Mick Foley or a Cactus Jack fan and Mick Foley or Cactus Jack comes looking for something that they might have, it's more meaningful. Yeah. And I would think also if I'm there in person, I can authenticate. Yeah. Right. Mick, if you could characterize or capture your career using artifacts, what would you see in your tribute case? I see that you have some dude stuff here, but I'd love to see all the characters represented. Yeah. Cactus Jack, we're talking about a vintage flannel vest. Not the one you're wearing. Not, Not the, the one I'm wearing. wearing. One Although that very I, similar. That would be a real big find. And as far as mankind, here's the thing. We've got a mask. You know, I yeah. made sure that I shipped the company a mask. Yes. But I'm missing that original shirt. The original Mankind shirt was made from leather. That's out there somewhere. That would be the highest priority item. And the other thing, there are a handful of vintage Sockos out there, and I'd love to be able to track that down. When, 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 what is the birth of Mr. Socko? Mr. Socko was 22 years ago when I visited your dad in the hospital. Vince, it's me. I saw what happened, I felt really bad, so I brought you some presents. I was so lucky to be in WWE at the time when we could just try stuff out. You, you throw it at the wall, you see what sticks. You know I'm in a lot of pain. I know you're in a lot of pain. All I knew is I'm supposed to show up, infuriate Mr. McMahon with my selection of gifts, enough to get thrown out. Say hello to Mr. Sacco! It was one of those things that morphed from a singular moment to becoming larger than life. Please leave, please. The next day, this thing that I didn't think stuck, fans were chanting Sacco's name, they had signs for him, and it just registered with them in a way I never anticipated. I'll tell you what, if we could track down an original Sacco, one thing I would love to do, can you pull some strings so I can recreate that hospital visit, <laughs> but maybe I surprise Vince in his office? Oh my God. If you can find Mr. Sacco, yeah. I think, I think maybe we can make it happen. Yes. No bedpans, though. <laughs> the bedpan. <laughs> A&E Original Series, WWE's Most Wanted Treasures, Sunday, April 18th at 10 on A&E.